Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CNM Explorers. My name is Mike Murphy and today we're going to be asking the question, are eggs the perfect food? First, let's look at the different categories of eggs, starting with the worst. Caged or battery farmed eggs come from hens that live in bare cages stacked on top of each other floor to ceiling. They contain anywhere from four to as many as 80 hens per cage, depending on the size of the cage. Each bird has less than a square foot of space, and it's a very stressful, unnatural environment, day and night. Antibiotics are used extensively for disease control due to the poor living conditions and animal overcrowding. The focus is on profit. This method of egg production was banned in the EU in 2012, but 60% of the world's eggs are still produced in this way. Cage-free is a marketing term that makes the consumer feel good. But in actual fact, although the birds don't live in small cages, they do live in confined, windowless barns. They can be packed in so tight that the birds get very little space to live no place to perch or nest, and they can get stressed and can peck at each other, causing injury, infection, and that can lead to outbreaks of disease. They stand in their own feces throughout the day, which can then contaminate their feed. Now, the nutritional quality of the egg can be directly linked to what the hen eats. And remember, you are what you eat. Free-range eggs come from birds that have to have access to outdoor space. But the term can be misleading because the guidelines for free range classification vary greatly as to the amount of time they're allowed outside each day, the size of the plot they're allowed access to, and what's growing on the plot. So they can actually end up spending much of their time inside barns with the majority of their food coming from man-made chicken feed. So now let's look at organic pasture-raised eggs. Now, to be classified as an organic egg, it only means that antibiotics were not used preventatively across the flock, and the feed used was grown organically without the use of pesticides and herbicides. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the hens had any access to pasture like this. It takes a lot of nutrition to fuel an egg-laying hen, which is why when you see hens in the pasture, they are just constantly on the search for food, pecking and scratching all day long. Not enough nutrition means fewer eggs. Hens will pick at grasses and herbs and seeds, a variety of vegetation. They'll also eat bugs and ants and insects and slugs and worms. But these lucky girls get their diet fortified. In the morning, they have a feeding of organically grown wheat grown here on the farm at Plow Hatch. And this afternoon feeding is organically grown oats and whey from Plow Hatch's own dairy farm. So this is the distinction with organic pastured eggs. It's the environment that the hens live in and it's what they eat. This is the creme de la creme of egg. It boosts the nutrition content in the egg, and remember, you are what you eat. Now here on Earth, we consume 1.4 trillion eggs a year. And there's a particular nutrient that's rich in eggs, and that's cholesterol. There's this commonly held belief that cholesterol is bad for your health, and that consuming cholesterol in egg yolks equals heart disease. And I'm here to tell you we got that one wrong. Cholesterol is one of the most important biochemicals needed for human health. We need cholesterol to build our brain and to build healthy cells so our cells can function and protect themselves. We need cholesterol to make bile, without which 
We can't break down and digest fats and fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A and E and K and D. We also need cholesterol to make our hormones like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. Without cholesterol, we get a diminished immune system. We have no reproductive capacity whatsoever. We now know that the cholesterol in our diet does not increase the cholesterol in our blood because we make the vast majority of our cholesterol from the liver. The more cholesterol we consume, the less cholesterol our liver makes, so it balances out. Now, there was a day when the whole world was ordering egg white omelets because they wanted to avoid the dreaded yolk because that was where the cholesterol was. Even today, you can still find egg white omelets as the so-called heart-healthy option on menus. So many people haven't got the memo that the cholesterol in our diet doesn't elevate our blood cholesterol. Science has proven that we got that wrong. The yolk is where most of the nutrition is. You throw away the yolk and you throw out most of the goodness in the egg. After all, if cholesterol was really that bad, then why would every single cell in our body be able to make cholesterol? It's pretty important. Now, when it comes to a perfect food, it's really hard to top the egg. Eggs contain virtually all minerals, all of the essential amino acids, so they're an excellent protein source. We also find eggs are rich in our essential fatty acids like omega-3 fats, which we need for healthy eyes. And after all, our brain is built out of omega-3 fats. When it comes to vitamins, we find virtually all vitamins in eggs apart from vitamin C. So in pastured eggs, we find significantly higher levels of vitamin A, we find twice the vitamin E, and we find up to six times the vitamin D because in pastured eggs, hens spend all day long outside getting natural light, and we know that we need sunlight to produce vitamin D. Now there's another nutrient that is particularly high in pastured eggs, and that is a phytonutrient called lutein. Lutein we find high in dark green vegetables like kale and spinach, and in the case of hens, in grasses and herbs. Now lutein is found concentrated in our eye and our brain. It's a very protective phytonutrient, and we know that pastured eggs are much higher in lutein because the hens are consuming lots of grasses and herbs. One way you can tell whether your egg has high levels of lutein is the color of the yolk. You eat a pastured egg, you'll find the yolk is like bright orange. Now, when you buy a conventional egg from the supermarket, you'll probably find that the yolk is quite a bit paler than if you bought a pastured egg, and that's because of the lutein content. Now, we've all heard the phrase, you are what you eat, and we know that the nutrition level of an egg is directly related to the environment the hen was raised in, including its diet. We also know that pastured eggs have higher nutrition levels. So if you're gonna consume eggs, organic pastured eggs are a superfood like no other. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next episode.